Hello, users, and welcome back to Memento Mori Solo Net on UV Fast, which I'm still not entirely convinced is possible, but I'm going to continue the attempt. So far, this is part three of this video series. Hopefully, y'all are enjoying the third incarnation of me playing Doom all month. There's a good chance I might do this more in 2020, given that the coronavirus is probably going to leave me with a lot of extra time. But we'll see. For now, this is Memento Mori. Alright, there's four critters up there. Get the rad suit. I got shot up there. There's a little thing you can do. You go this way, you go this way, you go that way, and you skip that whole pit segment. To those of you that wanted to see it, my condolences. I'm here to show off all the most epic gamer tricks. Wonderful. So here's a secret. Pop in here, grab some cellular munitions. I don't think this level's changed at all. There's actually a beta version of this level on the Doom World id Games archive. Because uh, this level was actually released by the map author and then integrated into Memento Mori. So it's interesting to play the original incarnation of it. I forget where you can find it. It is on Doom World uh, slash id Games though. Somewhere, but I forget what the the names were and everything. I think it was a different name, but I'm not sure. On that note, there is another one that I'm going to be playing this month called Cringe. And that was made by Mark Clem, the person that made the music for Memento Mori. And there is a lot, uh, rather there are a lot of beta songs, like with less instruments, like not worked up as much. You have to cross that little line there, and it's a whole, you know, ordeal if you fall down, but the trick is you can just jump around like that. Get some shells in there, but I'm going to need the blue key, which is this way. Now this thing is tricky because there's really no way to know that this is a lift. It just, you know, is. So, like, this is where a lot of people would get stuck. As they just don't realize that that's a lift. It's not the greatest, but eh. It's serviceable. Anyway, so this was map 8. Map 9 is a really good level. Really long. Really compact. Has a great song. So, I'm looking forward to this. High tech grave. Okay. Woof. So there's a lot of things in this level that I really, really like. This is a section that's way later, but there's a window at the very beginning. I'm very curious if Solo Net's going to change here. Here, you got some enemies you can shoot. But yeah, you can make a lot of progress shooting through this window killing a lot of enemies and making it so you don't have to kill them later. Because I'm playing on UV fast, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Alright. 
Then there's gonna be the Kakos. And these guys are spawned, at, like, facing you, so you gotta run away ASAP. Shit. Got ambushed. I also really like this song. It's a really good one. It has a lot of different parts to it. It's just nice. Very enjoyable. Oh, I never pressed that switch, did I? Press that switch. And then that opens this up. You can get a super shotgun up here if you didn't already have one. One of the things that I really enjoy about Memento Mori is the fact that all of the levels are very, very, very fun to do from pistol start. Like, there's no level that's, like, annoying or obnoxious or anything. This is weird. This is strange. Did I save in this why is that happening? Oh, is this impossible? Is this where the journey ends? Oh, no. Nice little meme there, by the way. Is there anything over here? Why would that be the case? Why would that just not come down? I think it is a solo net thing. I think another player is like supposed to like click a switch or something. That would make sense. Shucks. Ah. I wonder if there'd be like a way to just like glitch through the wall or something. I wish. Yeah, it looks like we're fucked here. This is a shame. And then that blocks you. Yeah, I don't know. There's nowhere you can squeeze through that. Damn. I am not a huge fan of that, to be honest, but... Oh well. Doesn't look like there's anything else that I can do here. Yeah, it looks like I'm just screwed. Well, that sucks. That's that that really shut back and oh, that's sad. I'm sad. Anyway, I guess I'll play the rest of the wad on fast. I guess it's not actually possible. Can't even get through uh um Can't even get through the first episode. Which is a shame. Alright. Let's go. So now I'm doing the whole thing from pistol start. I said I would do that. If that were the situation. Alright. It's gamer time y'all. One thing that this level does is the music will have not all the instruments load because the enemies sometimes overpower some of the sound channels. So the first MIDI loop every now and then, as it is right now, has some instruments removed, but then they kick back in during the second loop. And it's just a cool little thing that does, that happens. This level's very difficult from a pistol start. Because of these fuckers. Look at these goofy guys. Holy shit. 
Holy fuck! You're supposed to stay outside, little doggies. Fucker. Cocksucker. Ugh! i am got myself in a rough position here. Emphasis on rough. Rough, rough! There is a third one as well. I probably should have uh, restarted when I ended up at like three health, but whatever. Oh right, this backpack. That is what lower in the torches were here. That's in that's an interesting way to block it out in single player, or block it out in solo net but not in a in single player. That's interesting. Actually, I can respect that. I'm playing this very tactically. There's very little ammo, so it's a shame. Come on, buddy. I'm trying to get that switch over there. Might not be feasible. This is where it all crumbles, everybody. Fucker. Fucker. I'm just excited for the music to reloop. Oh, that actually worked out. Sick. All right. I really want that fucking super shotgun. Fucker. Damn it, these hit scanners are real big bitches. Sorry for the crumbling of this uh super happy fun time. But this level's just straight up hard on, on fast. There's a lot of hit scanny monsters. Like a fuckload even. That sucks. Alright, get ready for the loop. I still think it would be cool if I did a map for solo net run just to show off those interesting tricks because that was fun and maybe I will look for a way to go about this one but it doesn't look like it's possible there's not enough space in between those torches to glide for example which is again it's a darn shame very 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 much so a darn shame Either way, UV fast throughout the rest of the game will be fun. It will be fun. Because especially in things like map 28, UV fast is just insanely difficult and just a spectacular showcase of fortitude and aptitude. All right, so that area is all the ammo has been extracted. So this section, very difficult. I don't have the rocket launcher or the plasma gun. So I'm nervous. Oh 
I safe? I'm safe, y'all! Yahoo! Alright. I like the tree there. Just see a little bit of the outside world. So one thing about the effect that it, like the swimmable nukage gives off is that enemies can't see you because they think you're in a different sector. So it makes it really easy to just like kill them like this. Oh, that one escaped. Hello? All right. This is a little fun trick if you do this in a way. You skip opening up the demon trap, and you can just kill them all like this. Double. No, not a double. Makes it a lot easier. Come on, give me a double. Double. Give me a double double. Dummy. Ooh, got it that time. Frick yeah. Grab the rest of that shit. One thing that's super interesting about this level that I just absolutely love is the fact that th that Baron there teleported to the end of the map. But you, like, they spawn in earlier in the level, but it, they can somehow escape and then enter the end of the level. So it changes up, like, when you kill the Baron, which makes it for a really interesting, like, amount of assortment of RNG. That's, like, the good kind of RNG. Like, do you kill the Baron here, or do you kill them at the at the end of the level? Like, you know, it doesn't change much, but the touches like that that I just really enjoy. So you can actually skip this whole section if you're good, of which I am not. That was almost a disaster. Oh goodness. There's another secret here. All these are different, uh, all those different sectors are secrets. I mentioned this before, but there's like basically, if you draw a sector off of a sector in a lot of map editors, what will happen is the new sector will have the same exact properties as the old sector. So basically, that little light thing, they made that a secret area. And then you can tell they made the light afterward. And the light divided the light into a sector, which took the new properties that made that a secret sector. And then it also, because the light is in the middle of the, the room, it divided the, the other half, or the other, I guess, in this sense, third, um, I guess they're not thirds, but the, the one chunk from the other turned into two. So the one secret spe sector split into two. And then in addition to that, it had the light, which was another secret sector. So that's why that counted as three secrets. It's a little bit long explanation, but hopefully you get the gist. Hopefully that was a fun monologue. Right here, you can kill these guys via Crusher, but uh, I don't like risking that. It's kind of hard. Sometimes you get killed. Want to be careful here. Woof! One thing I love about this level is how there's so many areas where you see other areas like it the level like designs itself into like kind of like a puzzle kind of architecture where it all connects to itself and then you get these windows to later areas it's, it's just super fun love that kind of stuff The secret here I 
I forgot that I do have the rocket launcher now, but I still don't have the plasma gun, which is unfortunate. This section does take a while, but the patience is definitely worth it. Right, right. Press the switch. Raises the stairs. I love how like methodical you can take this section. Make it super safe. And we're done. Awesome. So we go back here. Now grab the Mega Sphere. Barely made that. Holy hell. I love this like E1, M3 kind of like call back here. It's really nice. So there's a lot of revenants up there that you gotta be careful with. Okay. Right, this is the one where you... On one side there's a secret area. I forgot which side I dropped down. Only because I'm kind of stupid. But that's okay. Got a little bit of a health refill. Got those guys. Gosh darn, I really just have to say, I love Memento Mori. Yeah, I forgot that those were guys that were there. Eh, 13 health. I can do 13 health. There might be a health kit. Never mind, I forgot they block you. Wait, no they don't. They try to, but they don't. Yeah, there's no health up here. Alright, 13%. <laughs> I can do 13. I've done it before. All right, here we go. Again, there's the Baron from before. At least one of them. There were a few. There's just one that I actually shot a bit. See, I'm great at Doom. I just, God, I'm great at Doom. That might be my man. Yep. Definitely did some damage to that one. But I just, I really do love that though, that the enemies teleport to another section. It's just cool. It's such a good idea. And that's just something you don't see often. That's what stands out to me is Memento Mori was crafted in 1995. And yet it has so many brilliant fucking map design, like areas and like, tropes and stuff like that. It's just very, very, very above of, uh, above what you'd think of the quality of a 1995 wad. For sure. Gotta be careful. trying to shoot the one on the bottom, but some of my shots are hitting both, and some of them are hitting just the Baron. I'm okay with it, but there we go. There we go. Again, I love how, like, this is like you're in, like, trenches here. This part is just so good. This is such a great map, I really have to say. This is a fantastic level. And then you get the Berserk. Beautiful. Then he 
got the double color gate. And the fucking revenants, which there are a lot of. Many, many revenants. Let's get all the ammo there. I love how there's just like a few buggers in here. And you get these guys. And then this part. I usually use rockets for this, but I figured this might be a little safer. Door juggle them. Brilliant. And that's all the secrets, y'all. Alright, so I'd like to say thank y'all for watching. That'll be it for today's, or at least this video of today's videos. And uh, hopefully you tune in for the mansion. This is a fun level. It's got, again, that daunting song to it. And uh, again, sorry about the solo net thing. I could just pick up from Pistol Start again on, on this level. I don't, mm, maybe I will do that. Like, I really do like the continuous play thing. But also, I would like to experiment with all the levels. I'll think about it. I'll think about it.